Hi, everyone. I hope you're doing well. I hope that you're enjoying the nice weather we're having in our great capital city. I, I'm seeing the tulips bloom and, and the flowers. It's exciting. We're heading into a long weekend. Not the same as usual, obviously, due to COVID, but there's been amazing, important news this week. The provincial government in Ontario has opened up eligibility for everyone that's an adult, everyone 18 plus, to sign up, register. It's your time to roll up your sleeve. Let's do this together so that we can have more of a normal fall. Uh, the sooner we can get everyone vaccinated, the sooner we can get to some form of normalcy. This week, we're meeting with Intergenerational Day. How can we connect between generations? Well, there's a group doing a lot on this. Let's meet with Diane to learn more. Hi, my name is Diane Joy. I am a co-founder of iGen Ottawa. When we think about uh, humanity, I think the, the heaviness of, of COVID and the stay at home has come full circle on the need to, to, to learn from each other, to exchange, and, and iGen was created. It comes from the heart, to be honest. Um, since you and I worked together in 2017, it was just um, a natural fit to keep giving to the community. And um, along with uh, four other ladies, uh, we just saw an opening to um, bring generations together in Ottawa. There had been um, initiatives across the country, uh, different iGen type organizations that brought uh, just the attention, the awareness that June 1st is Intergenerational Day in Canada, across the country, different cities, different provinces, territories, and that Ottawa um, didn't actually celebrate Intergenerational Day in, on June 1st. So in 2019, we asked the mayor and the mayor's office if they would be open to recognizing the day. And it was just a, a simple ask and a simple action, but I think everybody relates because of how important it is to um, just reach out and break down barriers and um, connect. Learn from each other. Yeah. And learn from each other. And uh, we, uh, we think that um, all the learning is to be done reaching uh, out to, to seniors and all of the life experience they have. But in true fact, seniors and, um, you know, gen different generations learn a lot from children as well. So bringing them together became a little bit of a passion project for me. I know that iGen is coming up. It's on June, June 1st. It's the intergenerational day. We're celebrating here in Ottawa. And I know that you have three initiatives to share with us. Yes. So on June 1st, Ottawa will proclaim uh, the day, intergenerational day. And in celebration of that day, we have chosen music as our general theme and Amazing. We have, uh, launched three initiatives uh, that again, in collaboration with some great people and groups. I know that you're working on uh, one of the initiatives relates to De La Salle and Bruyere and Champlain, which I, I think is interesting. Would you mind sharing a bit more with us? Sure. So um, De La Salle High School students uh, through their Centre d'Excellence Artistique de l'Ontario have put together a booklet um, of writing and art, and uh, they have published 250 of them that they're going to share with the residents at uh, saint accueil Champlain and at Bruyère. And our contribution to that, um, that connection with these great organizations, iGen Ottawa just um, printed a little um, bookmark to uh, remind people that June 1st is Intergenerational Day and to show how much collaboration in the community there is and how much we're thinking about these relationships. We're, we're making sure you're aware of iGen Ottawa. We're making sure that you're aware of the important day on June 1st. There's three initiatives. We're a, a week ahead of the, uh, of the actual event, so you can't miss it. Thank you, Ziad, for, for your time today. And if people want more information on iGen or how to connect with you, what's the best spot? The website is igenottawa.ca. And then our handle is igenottawa, hashtag igenottawa. And we'll be on social media.